Hi, it's Savannah O'Gwen from Savannah Land 2. Today I'd like to share with you a great way to create more friends or characters for children to play with using your paper smooches, stamps, and dies. Now, two weeks ago, I shared how to create some friends and characters by making finger puppets and pencil toppers. Today's friends can also be used in many different ways. First up are these little friends that the children can play with on the floor or on the table. They actually stand up, and that's because they're die cut on a fold. So to create this friend, you're going to need a couple of supplies. Cardstock or patterned paper, and this is a great project for scraps. Basic craft supplies like a pencil and a ruler. You're also going to want to need a scoring tool, and I'm going to be using the score buddy. But if you don't have one of these, a bone folder and a ruler will work just fine. You also need a die cutting machine, and I've used the cuddle bug along with my A, B, and C plates. And finally, you're going to need your paper smooches, stamps, and dies. And today I'll be using some of the new Little Love and Dies and Coordinating Stamp Set. So we want to start by cutting some of the cardstock to fit our die. I'll be using the frog for most of this um, video. And so I cut my cardstock to be about 2 inches by 4 inches. Be sure to measure your image and cut accordingly. Next we're going to want to score our cardstock in the center and fold. So for this, we're going to score down on the um, number two line. Once we do that, we'll get this. Now this fold is very important because the lines we score needs to be below the die cut line. And that's because we're die cutting on the fold, or below the fold actually. Now if I place my die in the center, I would just get two individual pieces. So we want to keep the fold intact by placing our die just a little bit above the fold line. Now I'm going to flip this over and show you with my pencil. This little line right here is the die cutting edge, not the edge of the die itself, but what really cuts your image is this little line. So when we push our paper up, we want to keep this fold below part of this top of the die. So I would actually place mine right about here. So I've got part of the die edge still peeking out above my fold. I'm going to hold them in place really well and bring up my A and B plates. I'll lay my frog down and tape him several times in place. And then I would just die cut it. And when you do, you'll get something like this. Notice that he's been cut on the fold and the fold is still intact. Now we just need to finish by stamping our image and adding our embellishments. This is a great way to use up lots of different paper smooches images. And the kids can play with these literally anywhere, on the floor, on the table, in restaurants, um, in the car. It's a great little project for them. Now I mentioned earlier that there are lots of ways you can use these little friends. So I also created this. These are place setting cards or a way to identify food at a party and all I did was added one little step to this project. To create these pieces, you're going to need the same supplies as well as an embossing pad for your die cutting machine, and I'm using the thicker one. The steps are the same, so we're going to start by cutting a larger piece of cardstock, and I'm also using the frog die again. Where is he? Here he is. So for this frog die, I created a two inch by four and a half inch. Next, we want to draw on the bottom of our cardstock a line at three fourths inches. So, lightly draw a line. Now, I'm going to draw it dark so you can see it. And this is where we will later place our 
name or the food food item down at the bottom. Now we want to um, draw our score line. Now this is a little different than what we did before. We're going to place our paper inside our score buddy, then take our die and place him down. And the thing you want to remember is place him into this line that we've drawn. And that's because we don't want to die cut that. We want that to be flat and just um, right on the paper. So our score line is actually going to be right about here. Remember how I said we want to keep our fold intact? That is also true for this project. So we want to draw a line right below the eyes. Now that actually, let me take my pencil again and show you, it lines right up with the two and a half inch mark. So let's draw down the two and a half inch mark. And I'll erase these and fold this over. Now this step is a little bit more difficult if you use a larger image. Let me show you. I've taken a, per a piece of purple cardstock, placed it into my score buddy. I'm going to take this kangaroo and I'm going to place him a little bit below the line that I've drawn, my 3 4 inch. And then if I'm going to keep my fold intact, I want to draw a line a little bit below the tallest part of my die. So that is about right here. And if I take my pencil up, I don't have a line to follow. So I'll just remove my die and move it to where I do have an indentation for my bone folder to follow. So then I would just score along that line now and then fold it over. And it's okay if it comes out at the bottom, we can cut that off later. So let me show you how this works. So I still have my fold intact up here because it is below the die cut edge and my image is just a little bit below this drawn line. It's perfect. So back to my frog. Once I've drawn my line at 3 4 inches, scored it so that the fold will be intact, what I want to do is just run it through my die cutting machine. Now, this is another extra step. First, I would tape it to itself onto the paper. Tape that down. And then I would take another piece of tape and tape the top down. Now this line that we've drawn comes in handy because that's where we're going to place our embossing pad. Oops. This embossing pad will help stop the die cutting at that area. Now that we've done this, we're going to run it through our machine and out will come something like this. Doesn't look like a frog yet. <laughs> but you can see that it has stopped cutting where I placed my embossing pad. And I still have extra space down here for my food name or my uh, name for my friend. The next step we want to do is take our pencil and continue drawing down the image or die and I do that just by using a, a light mark and I'm actually making it darker so you can see what I'm doing. And if you can see here, right here is where it stops and I'm just going to take my pencil and continue out a little edge to line up with my three-fourths line. Then we're going to take our scissors and fussy cut around the image where we've drawn. And if we do that on both sides, we can finish by stamping our image and adding our names 
or the food, uh, the food name as well. And then I added some glitter just for some extra pop. And that's really all you have to do for this little friend. Now there are actually two other ways you can use this little die cut friend. Um, you could actually use this for a tag on a gift card. Just punch a hole at the top for your ribbon and twine and tie it to your gift. You could also make both of these designs, this one and the one with the little extra bottom, as bookmarks. All you have to do is add a bit of magnetic adhesive to the inside. And then I added the word read to the outside. And this is a great way for kids to keep place, their place in their book. Now I hope you will create some of these friends for your children to play with or to use as gift tags. And maybe you'll use them at a party for place settings or to, to identify your food. And you might even just make a bookmark. I would love to see it. So please leave a comment below with a link to your creation or project. I love checking them out. Thanks so much for watching.